I never thought we'd have to evacuate our home because of fire. But it's coming over the mountain, headed towards us. Air is filled with smoke. We got our car loaded up. Tried to bring the whole house, but... Oh, shoot. Didn't quite get everything, but we got the essentials. Jonathan's hosing down the house. We have ash, like, falling hard. Like, I don't think you can see it, but... Um, yeah, we gotta leave our beautiful home and pray that it's still here tomorrow. We'll, I'll keep you posted on uh, what's going on, but we are gonna head out. currently up at my husband's work. We have been here for five days now on evacuation from um, two wildfires that are burning near our home, um, the ranch fire and the river fire. Um, you've probably seen them on the news. Well, this entire town is under a thick layer of smoke. It's pretty hard to breathe out here. It's even hard to see more than maybe 100 yards in, in front of uh, yourself. So it's definitely uh, getting a lot of that smoke. And I can tell you that we took Highway 175 to get here, which is close to the public. And there were fires burning along the side of the highway. Uh, so very dangerous conditions. A lot of firefighters out here. This entire town is under mandatory evacuation. And just to recap, we are talking about the Mendocino Complex fires. That's two different fires, the river and the ranch fires that started Friday in Mendocino County. Near they quickly spread. Hellfire ordered the evacuation of three towns, Lake Court, Upper Lake, and Nice. There's also an evacuation order for the east side of Potter Valley Road in Mendocino County. Downtown Upper Lake is like a ghost town. pg and &E cut power there. Just about everyone left. One store owner refuses to get out because she is worried about looters. Um, they are close to our home and also my mom's home and a lot of friends and family where I live. <clears throat> so we've been on an evacuation for five days now. We actually get to go home today. Um, <clears throat> the fire near our house is at 38% containment now, which is awesome. Um, the fire near my mother's house is only at 12%, no, 15% containment. She is still evacuated, so she is going to come stay with us until she can go home. Um, there were a couple scary moments when the fire was getting close to our house, but we have stayed strong and we are now able to return home. We will be on advisory evacuation um, probably for at least a few more days, so we are going to keep our cars packed and ready to go, um, but I'm excited to go back home. Um, I feel very blessed to be able to stay up at my husband's work. They have houses up here, very nice houses. Um, but I want to give you guys an update on what's going on because I haven't uploaded a video and been thinking about all you guys. Evacuated, all I've been doing is eating and eating crap and I can't wait to get back home and get back into training and get back onto um, my diet and eating healthier <laughs> and getting back to normal life. If any of my viewers are do live in Lake County, um, I hope that you guys are all safe. I hope that um, you get to return home soon and I hope they get these fires full containment as quickly as possible. They are doing an amazing job at keeping these fires out of our towns.
check something out. I'm not sure. Something. Just craziness. That's Upper Lake that way. Hopland's that way. It's coming over the, the mountains there. Yeah, and then there's blue skies over there. Just crazy. So sad. Prayers, please, for our town. We're in High Valley looking out um, towards uh, Lakeport. And I mean, it's crazy. Look at the blue sky there and then just the plume of smoke. Girls, you ready to go home today? Yeah. So, they think they're on vacation because this place is so nice. But I'm gonna show you if you can see how smoky it is outside. It's been like this for almost a week now, but there's mountains past these those trees right there and you can't even see them. Normally you can see a um, bunch of mountains up here above the trees and beautiful, but you can't even see really past those trees. So smoke is really bad. We can't even go outside. Air quality is really, really bad. Um, yesterday I had um, a headache for most of the day and felt nauseous from the smoke. Um, so can't wait until this stuff can clear out, but it's probably gonna be maybe another week before that happens so anyways let's kind of show you the smoke situation right now all right so we are headed home i wanted to show you we're in high valley and um i want to show you kind of the smoke um you can't i mean it's like you can't see any of the mountain ranges at all it's just crazy smoky hoping it's better at home but we'll see and hopefully it'll blow out a little this afternoon which it usually does but it's so so smoky sweet home it's pretty smoky but not as bad as where we were can't see the mountains but are you glad to be home your house is still standing towns that are evacuated Lakeport, Upper Lake, Nice, Bacha Valley, Witter Springs. Praying for you guys and hope you get to return home safely.